Alrighty, hi everyone, I am Blaze here, and we're going to be doing South Karana today and for the zone guide. So let's see what it says. 15 to 35. It's actually a pretty big zone. There's some, there's some stuff going on with it. So first of all, it's mentioned this, these are some vendors you can sell at in the Centaur Village. Um, they, they don't think they drop, they hit your faction, actually, if you kill them. So I see they're from like the mid-teens up to the 30s. So you could probably kill them for a long time. That's what someone else is doing. And they have a merchant here, actually, conveniently. Find one of these guys. Shackham Meadow Green. I think it's right here. Yeah, you're a merchant. Or no, Olin Meadow Green. Yeah, so you can actually sell to him, and you don't have to worry about faction at all, for that matter. Now, um... Any good split hall stuff for sale? <laughs> yeah, so... <clears throat> that's where these guys are, and I think there's a bread quest involving one of these guys. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's see... No, it doesn't say anything, but yeah, there's a bread quest that people would do for EXP. Next part, um, this is a really cool area in the zone. There's a wizard spire here? No clue. This is part for the uh, bard epic right here. There's a couple mobs. Um, Valen, like Van Halen, Ostrolo, and uh, Bainar Swift Song that I mentioned. So these are these guys, and what's really cool is it's... If you look around, they're at this like sort of shrine thing. Not very deep. But yeah, this is a really cool area, just in the middle. It looks like there's... People would donate or something, like a wishing well. Let's go a little bit up north. There's a zombie camp. Remember right, that has a really unique item that people would farm like crazy yeah here it is so you have the bridge up there to north karana and then here's the camp um what level are these skeletons they're f not too high probably you could do this in your teens and um let me see what it says here lord grimlot's love Hmm. Not sure. Lord Grimlock. Does it say anything about you? EverQuest. Pestilence Scythe, Quest, Aegis, Aegis Life, which, what does this give you? That's a really nice shield. Ten Wiz Shield, wow. Really nice shield for clerics and paladins, but I thought there was also something else. Um, Lord Grimlot's Love. No. I'm not sure, but anyways, um, yeah, it looks like it, yeah, I think it's for a shield, to be honest. Okay, now let's go to the next spot, which I'm familiar with, which is Splitpaw. Yeah, let's go to Splitpaw. So Splitpaw is a pretty decent dungeon in the 20s to 30s area. Yeah, I remember doing that on Aeonic. I actually have video of doing it. It's not a very common dungeon to hit, actually. Very rare. Um, usually most people aren't going to it, so it's pretty open, 
open season. You don't want to compete with people. But here it is, yeah. It has a different texture. The ground changes. Let's see. Where did the texture start? It's like they copy and pasted it in. You can see. Yeah, the ground texture. You can see that. It's a entirely different. They they probably copy and pasted this into the area. Um... And the entrance is, yeah, there it is, that little tunnel. And now one thing that I need to mention, so there's a, there's a couple, typically a couple knolls around this that people camp. One thing I wanted to mention is there's some pathers that run back and forth, at least I know on P99, absolutely. There's some pathers, it's like a lioness and a young elephant, the path of split paw. Over this hill. And from KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or Aviac City. And why this matters is it's for the um it's for Quillmane for the Pegasus Cloak. So let me go to that. Quillmane. Main is level 30 Pegasus that mostly drops these feathered leggings, but will very rarely drop this, which is uh, unlimited clicky levitate. I think it's self only. I actually have this on P99, part of the Magician Epic, but it's a pain to get to spawn, to be honest. And the problem is. It can spawn at multiple spots. I think Quillmane can spawn around here, Quillmane can spawn around here, and then somewhere right around here, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. So one of the tricks is you want to charm a pet and then make a macro of pet attack Quillmane, and your pet will send a message if it's up, if you don't have a long tracking range. Yeah, I think Quillmane can spawn over there somewhere, I believe. This is Aviac Village or KFC. Let's see what level mobs these are. This is another nice place to camp. 20s. Okay, so this is probably, you can do this from your late teens to 30. And one of the things about this place is there's also a merchant up here. Now here's the thing. Almost no one can actually sell to him because your faction will be garbage. Like, he will not sell to me right now. Doesn't like humans, or anything for that matter. But if you sneak behind him, let's see if I have that skill up. Yep. And sneak behind him, and you can sell to him. So you actually have a merchant right here too, which is rather convenient. Um, now, let's head on down. I think you have to be careful though if you want to kill these guys because they have a pretty big social aggro radius. I remember too, some of the pathers for that quill main would start right around here in the southern portion. It spawned right around there. The lioness and the elephant. And if I remember right, um, going over this way, where my dad actually, he used to kill here, near the hermit hut, um, on his enchanter. Bull elephant. Yeah, it's right around here. Yeah, this is a hermit hut. It's a pretty cool area. I think there's also some names. That's a werewolf. You know what? I think I want to kill it. Just because they can drop this one uh, piece that you can...
There's a there's a, something you can do in Everfrost from a, a, a drop from them. You turn in something that comes from a werewolf and some platinum, and then to this one guy in Hal or Everfrost. This one barbarian Everfrost, and they give you a pretty nice item, pretty nice gear slot item. A locket. I wonder what that's for. I think somewhere around here is this mob that drops a weight reduction bag, I believe. That's why people would kill him. Is it like right over here, I believe? Somewhere. And this is a druid ring. It's like non non usable one though. And now here is the hermit hut. I always found this to be cool. It's just right out in the middle of nowhere. So I think... Yeah, that door's locked, but the thing is you can kind of see through it and get a target on him. Yeah, this door's not... totally the best. Hermit, level 20. Can you lockpick into it? No, I can't even do that. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I always found this to be really cool. It's like this hut out in the middle of nowhere. It's sort of similar to that thing in Timorous Deep. That was one of the coolest zones, I think, with that big uh, hidden island. Let me see if the hermit drops anything. Hermit. It's just a ranger. No faction, apparently. Oh, wow. On a two minute spawn timer, too. That's not bad. Looks easy to kill, too. Wow. Okay, um, well, I think that's all for this particular video, so thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.